So before I do this actual speed comparison, I want to go over the rules so that you guys understand how this test is going to work. The code is already developed, right? Yes, it's part of the testing framework development, but we would have had to have made the code for either framework no matter what, and it would have been the same because we're the same developer and we think the same and we develop the same. So this code, this function would have been developed no matter what. And it would have taken the same amount of time for both of the frameworks. I hope that makes sense to you guys. Now, the rest of the process is where the difference between the test-driven framework and the keyword-driven framework comes in. And so that is what you guys are going to see. And I'm going to start with the keyword-driven framework. I'm actually going to close up both of these actions so that they are closed and we are acting as if we are doing everything from scratch except creating of the function. Okay? So for the keyword-driven framework, let me just, what steps do we have left over? Well, we have to take this function and put it in the spreadsheet. We have to create the description for that spreadsheet. Um, and then we have to put this into our driver script. And then we have to run it. And that all takes some time. So let me close this spreadsheet as well. And let me close the browsers. So this time I'm going to set is going to be from the point where I start up until the function runs successfully. I shouldn't say the function, the script, our test case runs successfully. And at that point, the time is going to be stopped. And we will see how long it takes. And then versus that versus the test driven framework. Does that make sense, guys? Okay, cool. So I got this handy online timer that I did not develop. Someone else developed it. But I'm just going to start it and then we'll go. So three, two, one. So first thing I want to do is open that spreadsheet for test controls and it's this one. That opened fast. I'm still going to type everything in, even though we already have it. We have to see the actual time that it takes. Execute Y and browser. Great. Now we need to go into the test steps. And this is where the keyword driven framework loses. We need test case ID, test step ID. Okay, input parameters, we're going to have this. Keyword, we need to grab that from our framework. The parameter description. And then let me do a format paint because I have to make this look a little bit nicer just in case I have to show it to management. Great, let's save that, make sure at the execute flag set to Y. Now, re remember guys, this is only one keyword. If I was creating a keyword driven framework with many more keywords, the time would exponentially increase. So it's saved and I'm gonna close. Great, so now we need to add the function call to our driver script. So let me open that up. That is here, action one. Scroll down, so I have to add a select case statement. And then this parameter will be browser process, this username password, and then copy this one. And then wrap that in parentheses so that it returns us a value. Great, let me save all this. 